Following up on that, how have you seen good, aggressive, thorough deal sponsors go after distressed real estate? I mean, are they going direct to seller? Are they going to the lenders? Are they looking for the, the assets themselves? Are they looking at distressed notes? Um, what is a couple of strategies or the best strategy in your opinion? Yes. Yeah, so again, the way that I got into it hardcore during the last downturn, and I was living in LA, right? Massive city. Now I'm sitting in the middle of a field, basically. So I can't do the same thing. But you can do it a lot. You can actually do it a lot easier because of the availability of information online today relative to the, what there was then. There's a few strategies that you can approach, uh, that you can employ. Uh, one that I did was to actually drive around. I actually took certain areas of the city of LA and systematically drove streets. I mean, really, I, just, I, I mapped it out and I drove around streets and I looked at the time for buildings under development because it was a little bit different then. But there are other signs that you could look for now, uh, potentially, that would indicate that a particular property was under distress. And you can do research online. Then what I did was I conducted title searches to see who the borrower had, uh, who the developer had borrowed from. And then I was able from that to be able to find out what their entire portfolio was. And then when I saw what banks they were borrowing from, I started to do research on who else those banks had been lending to. And it's all public information, right? You can get into this with a title company or with various databases, you can get to this. And so what that did was it creates, it creates a mosaic of, of stress in the, in the economy. And then you can start to contact borrowers, for example. You could do like off-market deals. Some people, they may not want early now, like now, people don't want, they don't want anybody to know that they're, that they're divesting, right? You might find people that want to sell one asset release some cash in order to shore up something else. So you look for patterns, people that aren't necessarily primarily real estate investors that have businesses that they need cash for, might be willing to sell deals or properties at discounts just to release cash. If you can turn it and it's cash of king, you've got to do it quickly uh, so that they can shore up another business. When it comes to notes, that is banks. And banks are notoriously difficult to uh, penetrate, actually. Uh, but uh, banks are slowly beginning to uh, identify assets, that loans that they have made that are beginning to reach um, what's called a, a point of no return. And a point of no return for a bank is 90 days delinquency because after a note, after a loan becomes 90 days delinquent, it becomes a troubled asset. It's no longer, it can no longer be, um, gosh, what's the word? It can no longer be brought current. Now, even if the borrower walks in uh, it, on, on day 91 with everything that they owe, past payments, penalties, fees, etc., it's an irrevocably troubled loan. So it sits on the bank's books as a troubled loan, as a troubled asset, and the bank can either choose to hold on to it or sell it and get it off their books. So approaching local banks is, um, uh, uh, is probably not a bad idea if you can get in and talk to them. Okay.